Welcome to Rollmaster's webinar on installation calendar through our mobile RM mobile app. My name is Martin and I'm with Rollmaster. Um, one thing we want to look at is the installation calendar in this webinar. So what we're doing is, is we're going to start in Rollmaster and then work our way to the calendar. Um, when you start in Rollmaster, you are going to have your jobs, um, your job entered into the system and you would click once the job is in here with all the labor and everything in here, you can do this at any point, whether or not you have materials ordered or they received or, or at any point during the course of the sale, you can schedule the installation. So by clicking on install dates, you'll see the two labor lines on here that we're going to schedule for the labor. I will go ahead and add my tile labor here first. And I pick the dates that I want to be installing on and I'm going to install on the first. And we're going to finish up on the sixth. Um, I can decide whether or not I want to include Saturday and Sunday here because I'm booking over a weekend. I'm not going to include Sunday because my guys don't work on Sunday. I'll be able to pick my installer, what crew I want to do, chip and non is who I'm going to do it with. If for some reason or another the sales rep or the person doing, doing scheduling at this point doesn't assign the installer, the installation, the installer can be assigned at a later date as well. Hit continue, and it takes me to a list of all my products I have out there. Since this is my tile, I'm going to go ahead and click on the lines that require tile. That's my tile guy will be doing, so he's going to be doing the, lay, the tile and the, and the demo of the existing floor in that area. I can label it if I want to label it up here by naming it something else, by naming it chips, tile work order, if I choose to, or you can leave it blank with what Rollmaster said the name was. I'll click save and I'm done. Now I can come down here and I can see that I've got my job scheduled and now I'll go ahead and go schedule my carpet as well. I'm finishing up my install on the 7th, so maybe we'll go in there on the 8th. It's a one day install and I'll pick a different installer to go in there and do the flooring for there. So hit continue. Again, my list of products pop up here. I grab my tile, I mean my carpet items, my carpet and my pad. My labor's already selected because I'm scheduling it and now I'm done complete. And it shows that I'm installing on the 8th and what products the installer has to do. By doing that step, what that does is basically creates an electronic work order in the mobile app on the installation calendar. Switching over to the calendar, I can see here and looking at my jobs, I can see all my different installers I have here on the left, what day it is of the week and where they're working, and then color coded based on product, what days they're working and where they're working. I can see here by hovering over it and clicking on it once, it brings up my electronic work order for this particular job. And I can see that it's PH16, comfort, and I'm doing just a broad loom install. No stairs, no extra charges would all be on here. The black box indicates that there's line notes, so the installer would be able to click on the box and see any of his line notes here. Master bedroom, master closet, bedroom two and bedroom three. He needs to use the seam diagram that they have attached here for him and then return the carpet tube back to the warehouse. So any type of notes you would have on here, these would be the line notes that would be coming into Rollmaster. I have all my lines here. A couple other features here for the installer to be able to have access to is there's a camera button up here on the upper right hand side that would allow him to take pictures of the job site so that he could send them back to you guys. Maybe you want him to do uh, um, take pictures after the job done for your guys' website to, to do marketing and things of that nature. So they have a camera button to do that with. They also have a GPS button. This would take the address of the house, of the ship to address, and load it into the navigation on his phone so that he'd be able to um, have that there as well. You have all the information for who the sales rep is, who the builder is, the ship to address and where it needs to go, um, and then any type of special instructions. In this case, the security number to get into the home is right there. There is a notepad here, and these would be general notes within Rollmaster, and you can see that here. One thing also to note here is the installer can make notes back to you guys. Click in the new note button here. He can come up here and type in any type of notes that he wants to type in, and they would go back to Rollmaster and be saved in the job. There's also a signature capture where the installer can capture a, phone, a signature of the installer, um, I mean, from the homeowner, so the job was complete and can see that the job would be done and it would automatically upload into eDocs in Rollmaster. There's also the eDocs button here. eDocs is allowing them to see the eDocs that are in diagrams in Rollmaster, so he can come in here and click on the diagram layout, and by clicking on that, it will load your drawing that you have. In this case, it's a measure square drawing, which Rollmaster offers. Um, it could be a hand-drawn drawing, it could be just a cut sheet, or whatever it is you wanna have in here as far as them to be able to see. 
so I can see here my, my diagram where my seam lamps are going to be and where what way my carpet is running. So um, you would have they would have access to all that information if they were attached to EDOCs. This does allow me to also see from Metro Square allows me to see my wall tile layouts. I can see my tile floor here and then what I'm doing on my tile on my walls in my shower for that instance. So it has all those um, in there as well. That is using EDOX to look, download your diagrams. In EDOX, you can do any type of document, JPEG file, TIFF file, whatever it may be. So there's some drawing, there's some pictures in here that the installer had taken on the job site. So he could click on that and you can see the pictures of the drawing of the tile installed on the customer floor and that you can see it was complete and done and, and satisfactory to the customer. One other thing to note is that the installer using the mobile app can submit an invoice to the store for the job that they're doing an invoice from the customer. An example of an invoice would look like this. Um, here's an invoice from the installer to the customer and it shows them all of their different stuff that they have that they installed, the quantities they did, the rate, and the dollar amount they're getting paid. So this invoice can actually be created from the app right to the, right to the store from the installer. Um, also, there's a note box down here for them to put any type of additional notes in here. For instance, someone um, missed something on prep or there was maybe an additional charge that they need to want to note. The installer can make a note down here that says they need $50 extra for prep per Michael in the office. So you can go back to Michael and ask them, and then you can add that to their bill going forward. So this allows the installer to invoice directly from the app. When the installer invoices from the app, it will send a copy of this invoice to three different places. One, it will send to whoever in your store does accounts payable or accounts installer payables. And then secondly, it will attach a copy of the bill to Edocs Enrollmaster for viewing later on. And then thirdly, it will email a copy of this bill to the installer for a copy for his own records. Um, this kind of takes us through with the steps and what's available with the installation calendar in Rollmaster. A couple other notes is, is the materials are all color coded based on product type in the system. Um, you, you can set this up to, for deliveries. So if you wanted to have, if your company does deliveries, you can put your delivery driver on here and you can see all of his deliveries he's doing for that day's work. It does separate everybody out by installer. When an installer logs in, an installer can only see his work. So this installer would only see his work here and what he's doing this week for carpet installs. Um, it doesn't have access to anybody else's calendar or schedule. Um, and he is also not allowed to change anything. So if he decides it doesn't work on Monday, he can't just unassign himself from the job. He has to call the store and let them know. Um, we're gonna move back into Rollmaster here and look at some of the setup features that you would need to do in order to set this up. In setting up a, a installer in Rollmaster, you do have to give them user access. So you do want to set them up as a user within Rollmaster. The user ID has to be their installer ID in Rollmaster. So um, it does have to match between the installer ID and the user ID have to be the same. But once you have a user set up for the installer, you'll come into um, user dashboard or user web dashboard um, in user settings. And when you click on that, you'll go find your installer by clicking on user ID or whoever it is you're wanting to set up. In this case, I'm going to set up my installer here and I'll go ahead and hit accept and it will load his information in here and the way he currently is set up. You will need to give them access to the RM, the Rollmaster web. They have to have access in order to get into the calendar. Secondly, you'll need to give them access to the installation calendar. This will allow them to see the calendar and going forth from there. Any other options here, typically the installer does not need to have access to until we get down to the bottom, towards the bottom, and it will ask you, is this, is this installer, if this is an installer, you want to mark them yes, and this will allow him only to see his work in there. So the installer will be marked as a yes. Then you have number of days in advance you can allow them to see the calendar. We default to 999, which is basically the end of time. You can default it to where they can only see one day in advance, five days in advance, four days, whatever it is you want. In this case, I'm going to make it seven days in advance. He's able to see his work. Lastly is the last few questions down here that we have. What you want to do is you want to make, say, do you want this installer to be able to see his costs on his invoices? And do you want to allow him to submit invoices? Typically, those are yes. If you have, if he gives access to a, a helper per se, maybe he doesn't want the helper to be able to see 
labor rates and things of that nature. So you do not want to mark those yes for that particular person. Lastly, is you want to, um, that would be the last questions for installers to be able to do that. If you have the new, web, uh, new barcode gun from Rollmaster, the Android device for barcode, you do want to make sure that your last three questions here are all marked no. That way they don't have access to the barcode system. It is very critical that you want to mark those no for installers. Once you've done the, the setup here, you'll hit your save button. That will save that user so that he can go back in and, lo and log in to RM Mobile and be able to see his installation counter. One last setup feature that you will need to do for him is you will need to set up eDocs. And what you'll do is you'll put in his username again, and then you want to have modules he's allowed to see. So typically, installer one would be the only one marked wet. Yes, I would mark no on all these others. So he's not allowed to get into those and he can get in there to that one. And now what do I want to allow him to do? I want to allow him to um, attach documents, yes. I want him to be able to view documents. I don't want him to edit description. I don't want to do that, but he needs to be able to download and save. And then no on deleting documents. And then what I will do is I will allow him to access what folders. I want him to be able to access um, diagrams only. So I will change all the other ones to no, and then I'll be able to save this and be done with it. Once I've got that set up, he'll be allowed to be able to act, um, get into eDocs and be able to see diagrams, anything else that's in that diagram folder. This is the um, walkthrough of installer calendar through RM Mobile. If you have any questions at all, please contact support at rmaster.com, or if you're interested in purchasing an RM Mobile and getting users, contact sales, at rmaster.com. Thank you again for your time, and if you have any questions, please contact us.